Hey guys, it's me, Risa. I'm so excited for a couple of reasons. First, I have a new camera stand. And second, I'm gonna teach you how to make my three ingredient delicious Passover bagels. And you can enjoy these babies all year round. Before I start, I just hope that you guys have subscribed. Press the like button. I love all your comments and your questions, so don't be shy. And when you share, my recipes on my Facebook group, WW Tips and Recipes by Risa. Even if you change them up, might you know my recipes are versatile, right? Before um, I show you all the ingredients and directions, which are written under each video, my friends, preheat your oven to 375 degrees. If you have convection, great. If you don't, that's okay too. And I have a cute donut pan, okay? It makes six bagels, and there are two smart points on WW, Wellness That Works, the blue, the green, the purple program. Um, and, you know, they change it up all the time, which is a good thing. So depending on when you're watching it, it is two smart points. So you're going to spray your bagel pan or your donut pan. And if you have more, you can double or triple this recipe and keep them in the fridge or the freezer in a baggie or sealed container. Don't worry. If you don't have this pan, you can just use a baking pan and put some parchment paper, line it, and then you'll form it into the little bagels, okay? So, and they're pretty good size bagels, you'll see. So I've just sprayed it well. And I'm just going to put it over here. Any cooking spray is fine. So what are the three main ingredients? Okay, because you know, I have to add things with and make it really delicious and flavorful, right? Because we don't want a plain bagel. It is optional if you don't want to add the spices that I do because everything I make, you can change and make it your own. So you're gonna need zero fat plain Greek yogurt, okay? And it's high protein, so this recipe is high protein. 19 grams of protein, zero fat, and um, I buy this one at uh, Walmart. You can buy any brand you want. It doesn't have to be the exact same brands either, okay? So one cup of zero fat plain Greek yogurt, you're gonna need two eggs. Why? One for the main ingredients and one as an egg wash for after that you're gonna brush on top. And I just have the large or extra large, I'm using extra large today. And the third main ingredient is matzo meal, okay? And this is also zero fat, zero sugars, and four grams of protein, one cup, all right? So those are the three main ingredients. Now, I add two teaspoons of baking powder. So, you know, just like when you're making my two ingredient bagels, um, it has self-rising, it's a self-rising flour already has baking powder. For those of you that are very religious and don't use baking powder, it doesn't matter. It's, it, it'll be fine. They'll still be absolutely delicious. The other thing I like to add is a little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of onion powder, and my favorite everything bagel seasoning. And again, if you don't have this, you could make your own up or you can just add some seeds. You can keep it plain if you want. Um, but if you have some poppy seeds, sesame seeds, sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, anything, if you wanna put it on top, or some people just love it plain. My family loves the everything bagel seasoning, so I'm gonna add that to mine. All right, so we're gonna start, and what I do is I put the wet ingredients together. So my egg, I'm just gonna crack. Just make sure you can see. And I'll just whisk that a bit. I have a cute little whisk, 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 whisk. You get a little bit of a workout when you do this as well. And then I'm gonna add my plain Greek yogurt. I have my spatula, so I make sure I get all of it. Okay, so it's nice and thick and really creamy, this yogurt. I absolutely love it, and I use it in a lot of my other recipes. 
Okay, so you can check those ones out as well. And I've been into making these mug cakes, so you can check them out. And I always use the Greek yogurt as well. Okay, so we're just going to mix this up. Usually I use a bigger whisk, but I just saw this one. So we're just going to mix this and incorporate the yogurt and the egg together. Mix, mix, mix. Use your muscles. Hopefully you'll use a bigger whisk. And I love serving this to my family, friends, co-workers, you know, they're really, really delicious. So now it's nice and creamy and smooth. All right, you can see that. Okay, in a bigger bowl, I'm just gonna add my matzo mayo, and I'm just gonna wipe my hands, and my two teaspoons of baking powder. All right, and just mix that together. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of some garlic powder because I like flavor. So, you know, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon, a little bit of onion powder, and a little bit of salt, just a drop. And I'm even gonna add a little bit of everything seasoning right inside, okay? And just mix that up. Okay. Alrighty. Before I forget, um, so I have this other egg right here just for an egg wash, um, because then, You'll add that at the end when you put the bagels into your pan or on your pan, depending on what you have. So I just mix that up really well. And I have a little brush to brush it on after and I'll just leave it there. So sometimes I forget things. <laughs> All right, so move this out of the way. I always move things out of the way when I know I've used it. So I remember that I've used it already. That helps me. You have to find strategies, people. Okay, so easy peasy so far. Now you're just going to add your wet to your dry. And I always like to have my little spatula so that I get all my ingredients. And, you know, after you put them in your fridge, just like any bagels, they get a little hard. So you can warm them up in your toaster. You can cut them in half and um, toast them up, or you can put them on bake for just a couple of minutes, like on 350, just for a couple of minutes, and it'll be like they just came out of the oven. So I'm just gonna take a fork, and I'm just going to mix this right up, okay? Just mix it up. Because you wanna make sure that all the wet and all the dry Are together okay and why I like this Greek yogurt is that um, it, it just makes it uh, a more delicious higher protein option okay all right so then after I've mixed it together with a fork You'll see that it gets kind of clumpy like that. And then I start using my hands, okay? Just like when you're making pizza dough or the two ingredients. So you just mix it together like this. And I just start, start, start to roll it a bit so that you can get all the dry together with the wet. You want to incorporate it all together, all right? And I just take it out and I form like a ball. I'm a visual learner. I don't know about you guys, but I'm definitely a visual learner. Okay. I'll move that out of the way. So I'll just show you that I formed a nice ball. Okay. Now, 
I need a knife. So I'm just gonna get my sharp knife out of my drawer that's in front of my camera. Move that out of the way. My hands are a bit sticky, so that's okay. I'll just wipe them off. And make sure you have a nice sharp knife, like so. And I'm going to uh, cut this up into six slices. Okay. Four, five, six. Okay. So I've cut it up into six slices and I'll just take one slice first, the end one. It's a little thick and sometimes some might be a bit thicker, some might be a bit thinner. Just, you know, try your best to make them even. Okay, so I just roll it more like into a log, okay? Don't overplay with it. And then the easiest thing to do is, again, you can just, um, I like to just put it inside my bagel tin. This one's a bit big, so I'm going to take some out. Some of them are a bit bigger, like I said. And you just have to play with it. Okay, so I'll do another one. And if you want them even smaller, like little baby bagels, you can just cut more slices. So again, you just form it like into like a log and you just play with it to form. So if you don't have, um, if you don't have one of these pans, you can just play with it and form it into your own bagel even right on the counter or right on the baking pan like this. So I'll just show you. And you can make it flatter or higher like that, okay? So I'm just gonna add that right in. And if it folds apart, don't worry because you just press it down and that one is a bit thicker, so I'm gonna take some off. And when you put them all in, if you need to add from another one, okay, just like that. So I'll do another one. It reminds me of when I work with my students, it's like Play-Doh. So I'll just add that in. I like having the molds because it's just faster and easier than rolling it out yourself. As you can see, I just kind of roll it for a few seconds and then just put it right into my pan. And I usually take my time, but we don't wanna be here all day. So you can just add it like that. All right, I'm just making sure you guys can see what I'm doing. I'm making this batch up for my brother. He said, where's mine? And I said, don't worry, I'll make you some. So this one was a little bit thicker, so I'm adding to the smaller one because I was rushing. All right, so just push it in. And dun, da, 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 like that, really easy. And then you take your egg wash, okay? And this is great for my vegetarian friends. And even if you are vegan, you can change the egg up if you want and you use flaxseed and water. So, you know, that's why I always say my recipes are versatile. You know, if I've used a certain protein, you can change the protein up. Because that's what I do. When I see a recipe that I like, 
I put the things in that I want and I change it because then you're going to want to make it over and over again. So I've added the egg wash and then I'm just going to sprinkle on my seasoning. Again, you can add what you want. I bought this, um, well, my brother brought it back from the States. I'm in Canada from Trader Joe's. Um, I've never actually been there, but, um, now you can get it at, um, it's, um, sea salt, garlic, and onion bagel seasoning with, uh, poppy seeds and sesame seeds. Again, um, you can get it at, uh, Costco now and at a bulk store. Okay. So how do they look? So I'm going to stick it in the oven now for 25 minutes. because I don't want to forget. And I'm going to wipe my hands off and I'm going to show you my bagels. So you cook them for 20, 25 minutes. My oven takes 25 minutes. I just want to show you what they look like. Okay. And they are really, really delicious. I'm not going to eat any because I'm fasting. I do intermittent fasting and it's not my window period to eat. So as I mentioned, you can cut them in half. You can have it with your favorite protein. Eat it like that with a little bit of margarine or, or light butter, of course. Cream cheese, uh, low fat, hard cheese, peanut butter, um, you know, anything. Make a sandwich with some turkey meat, whatever meat you like, chicken meat. Um, and, uh, it's a great snack. It's great after a workout. It's great for breakfast, brunch, lunch, and even dinner. Okay. So, um, many options to have these delicious bagels. Again, as I mentioned, uh, keep them in your fridge in a sealed container or in a baggie. You can keep them in your freezer as well. Defrost them in. You can just defrost them on your counter or put them in your toaster oven to toast or to bake. And um, I just hope you love this two smart point. Just bring it right up so you can see. They're nice and brown on the outside. And when you first eat them, they're crispy. And um, afterwards, they're a little dense, um, just like most bagels get. <laughs> so um, take care, love you guys. Hope you love this recipe too, again, Sharing is caring. Tell other people about my channel. Mwah. Bye for now.